this is currently my garage and kitchen area on my bungalow this is where we're going to put the solar panels and um, we've got room for nine solar panels on this roof um, this sort of face of southeast um, it's just an experiment see how we get on we'll give it a couple of years and if they work well we'll have a few more put up but at the minute we're going to go for nine solar panels and a battery storage pack um, we're in a conservation area so we've had to have planning permission to put them on the roof you can't put them in a conservation area property unless you get planning permission so we've got over that hurdle and um, we're hoping the scaffolding is going to come soon and um, we're due to get these put on the roof on the 4th of May 2022 uh, I'll put a bit more up when we get a bit further scaffolding's now up so we got to the next stage the scaffolding boys are running along jobs in front of the guys that are putting the solar panels up so they're about two weeks in front of the guys with the solar panels today's the 21st of april 2022 and the panels are not coming to the fourth of may so um they managed to bridge big garage door so we can get the car in and out so that's the main thing so i'll put a bit more on to the end of this video when the panels come we've now got the panels fitted they were fitted on the 4th of may 2022 all nine of them um scaffolding's been taken down they all seem to be working quite well they're charging up the batteries nicely and uh, we're using a lot less electricity from the grid at the moment with it being the uh, height of summer so uh, it's all going very well uh, what i'll do is i'll move into the garage and i'll show you all the uh, electrical gubbins that goes with all this and uh, makes it work right here we are inside the garage what you can see there on the right is the inverter that's got a screen on there tells me what's happening tells me how much it's generating at the minute what's going to the grid what I'm using in the property what's going into the battery um, all quite useful stuff on the left you'll see two circular switches they're the isolating switches for the two lines of panels on the roof below that there's a, a breaker for the uh, supply to the batteries the batteries are down here i've put them we've had them put here so we can um add another couple if we need at the minute we've got two in this rack and there's room for a further two at some point it's a 3.3 kilowatt system it's only a small system at the minute we just thought we'd give it a go and see how it goes The screen there tells you exactly what's going on so we know what's happening and if anything goes wrong there's alarm on the system as well tells us what's happening um, so far we're quite pleased with it and I think possibly if this works out okay we'll probably put a few more panels on, on another one of our bungalow roofs and uh, extend the system a bit but we're going to give it 12 18 months and see how we get on first but uh, from what I've seen so far I I'd recommend this, this little system to get started and um, I think uh, we're doing okay with it um, we're quite pleased with it so that's all for now I hope you enjoyed my little solar panel tour and uh, bye for now